Hi everyone. Today we'll see how optical pyrometer works in simple manner. Here the word optical means to view electromagnetic radiation and pyro means fire in terms of Greek language. So it is a device in which person or operator have to view radiation which is coming out from the object in order to measure temperature. Pyrometer consists of two optical lens, filter and filament. A filament that is used is similar as our filament of regular halogen bulb. Electricity that is passing through filament is controlled by means of rheostat. A rheostat is a variable resistor which is used to control flow of current. In this construction, rheostat is calibrated in terms of temperature that is 650 degree centigrade to 1500 degree centigrade. Here the knob is there as you can see by varying the knob we can vary the current that is passing through the filament. When we increase this knob or we, when we move this knob towards right hand side as you can see the current to the filament also increases which can be seen in next slide. If the current flowing through the filament is large enough that will cause filament to emit light similar to a light bulb. The higher the flow of current hotter the filament gets and the greater the light intensity is there. As we can see if I move this rheostat or button the current that which is flowing through filament increases or decreases. If the current is increases or decreases filament color or the color that is coming or the radiation which is coming out from the filament also changes. According to the electromagnetic radiation every hot body emits visible radiation which varies in colors if the temperature increases. In this situation as you can see if I vary the current filament gets hotter and hotter and the color changes from black to red to yellow. As an operator we have to look through the viewfinder and find out the brightness of filament and object then we have to compare it. If the filament temperature is lower than object temperature then we can clearly see the filament and which will be darker in color. If the filament temperature is higher than the object temperature then the filament color will be more sharper or we can say color will be less brighter than the object. What we have to do that we have to make filament color and the object color in the same manner so that the viewfinder disappears the filament from the background. As you can see if I vary the rheostat filament color also get changes. What we have to do is the filament color and object color that is radiation we have to make the same. In this way 